our next guest is turning the chaotic 20s. We all remember those days. <laughs> it's a long time for me. But <laughs> she's turning those days into um, a period of really trying to, you know, figure it out. She's, she's brought it to a book, an award-winning novel, which is really going to help a lot of people out, I think. She's written this book called Losing <laughs> It like totally losing it. <laughs> Please welcome Cora Carmack um, to the broadcast. Hi, thank you for having so me. Glad you're here. welcome. I have been reading your book. So I got a copy of it about two weeks ago and I've been reading it. And let me say, sister, you are funny. <laughs> like, and for her to say you are funny, that means, girl, you must be hilarious. <laughs> well, you thank you. Funny. How did you fall in love with writing? How did this, how did this journey start for you? Um, well, I mean, I've always been in love with telling stories. Um, I grew up sort of in the theater world. My mom was a theater teacher. I did theater, just like the characters in the book. <laughs> and um, I've always sort of enjoyed just telling stories. And I didn't, I always thought I would be an actor or a playwright, and I didn't quite figure out my, my niche until I got to, to writing novels. And it just kind of, I tried it one day and then never went back. And but, but this started as something else, though, right? It wasn't actually a, a novel when you started. Well, um, it started it, as an ebook, right? Yes, it, it did start as an as an ebook. Okay. Um, and um, I actually I self published it myself oh, good because for you. Um, it's sort of it falls in this weird place between like teen books, young adult, and adult novels. Mm -hmm. That because uh, yeah, let's just say you talk about some stuff that I'm like, oh, sister, you are <laughs> going there. So kind of give for viewers that that might not know about the premise of the book. What is the premise of the book? Sure. Um, it follows a character named Bliss, who is um, a senior in college. And she is the only virgin left among her friends. And she feels really, like, awkward and, you know, socially inept about it. And so um, she tries to just, like, not make it a big deal. And she tries to lose it in a one-night stand. Um, but she's just not that kind of person. And so it goes disastrously awry. And um, she ends up making this huge excuse and running out on the guy. And it's really, really awkward. And then she finds out the next day that he's also her new professor at school. Oh, so, no. um, so, so there's no running away from the awkward. It's just there. <laughs> so wait a minute. Like, who inspired this character? Like, is, is this, yes, is this like, a personal experience? It, it, it is, is not. It is not. Thank the Lord. Does everyone ask me that? <laughs> yes, I do get that a lot. Um, well, even though it's not, you know, based on a true story, um, I mean, her personality is really uh, familiar to me. It's sort of like a melding of my own and a good friend of mine. Um, that she's just really like quirky and awkward and fun. And you see those characters a lot in novels, but they're generally like the best friend that you know is this quirky character who's there for laughs, but is not really important to the story. And I feel like there are so many people out there that. Can are relate. not they're not the typical heroine they're not like this brave you know bold girl mm -hmm. or they're not like the shy pretty bella swan or whatever right. they you know fall somewhere in between and so i really wanted to to write about about that girl and sort of put her center stage and um give her her story now let me ask you i know what do you want people to get out of this because Reading the book, which I've read it, mm -hmm. um, I don't. I hope that it doesn't encourage girls to run out and lose their virginity and think that like it's, oh, it's not because okay. I have a seventeen-year-old. It's right not now okay about to, to, to be a virgin. So, have you gotten any feedback like that of people going? Well, you're encouraging girls to go lose their virginity, and that's not okay for you. I mean, what what do you want people girls to get out of this? Sure. Surprisingly, I don't get that. At least not from anyone who's read the book. Some okay, people good. will read the premise and um, and be like, oh my gosh, so shocking. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, she's just. Even though it's this crazy decision she's made to try and you know lose her virginity in one night stand, um, that's not who she is, and she doesn't do that. Um, but it's it's because she gets scared, and I think everyone can identify, can identify with that. That that, mm -hmm. that right. she feels you know she feels like she's alone in this because none of her other friends are still this, and she feels like time is sort of passing her by, mm -hmm. um, and it scares her. And I think that that happens whether you're talking about virginity or you know going on Facebook and seeing all your friends getting married or having babies like there is a, a uh, period, I can relate to yeah, that. yeah you feel like like everyone else's lives are moving forward and yours is kind of stuck and that's what she's sort of dealing with and I think that's um, in general what your 20s can sometimes be about right. it's about finding out who you are and then you know finding out that it's it's okay to live life at your own pace right. and not at right. someone else's that's well, such a great message. and I want to commend you yeah for giving a voice to that person to that woman so yeah. anyway, we'll be right back, okay? We, we want to talk a little bit more to you, Cora.